Hey guys, so I am doing my what I wore this month video for you guys today, but I decided to do something a little different because I haven't been able to upload as many videos lately as I normally would, so I kind of wanted to give you some updates on how things have been going. Um, this week was a huge week uh, for my family. My son's birthday was this past Tuesday, my birthday was this past Thursday, and Thursday was also a national holiday here in the US. It was our Thanksgiving. So um, it's, just, it's just been crazy, and then there's tons of sales going on, so we've been shopping shopping and it's just been crazy so I thought that I'd do my what I wore this month is more of a chit chat kind of thing um, just because it has been such a long time since I've really done a, a talking video that I thought this could be an excuse to just kind of talk um, so I want to start with my cups and cup accessories um, typically the only accessories I use for my cup are, are the occasional cup spot when I'm at work um, so I used this one from Bridget's Flame it's a knit um, topped and fleece backed and then my old reliable, this is um, by me, and it is cotton topped and fleece backed. Um, I only use cup spots when I'm at work, um, just because when I'm at home, I don't really find the need to. And the cup that I use this cycle um, is right here. It is my Lunette size two. Um, and this is the violet color. And I actually really, really like this cup. Um, I'm finding that um, if I want to use a cup my entire cycle, I am going to have to get a slightly shorter cup. Um, both my Diva Cup and my Lunette are great for my heavy days, which is typically the only days that I really use a cup. But I had kind of a forever period this month where it just kept going and going and going and going. And I really wanted to keep using a menstrual cup, but these are just a bit longer uh, for me and my comfort level um, once I hit like day three or day four. So um, I use this for about two days this cycle before it kind of got to the point where it really wasn't that comfortable anymore um, just because it's a bit of a longer cup and the Diva is actually even longer than this one. So that's it for my cups. Um, and then I use, because my period was so long, I use like 25 pads this cycle, which is a bit crazy for me. It's a lot more than I normally use. And um, I will start with, sorry, I'm looking down where my big stack of pads is. I'll start with my overnights. Um, this is a 13 inch um, flannel topped and wind pro backed from Eco Alternatives. This is one of my absolute favorite overnights. I absolutely love this. It's got Zorb in the core and it's super, super, super thin. I don't know if you can see that, but it's great. I love this pad. And then um, this was a first time use pad for me. This is a Win Pro backed and minky topped uh, from Mother Moon Pads. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually um, a cut of fabric from the Marauders map. Uh, in Harry Potter. So I absolutely loved this pad. Super, super comfy. And it started to get nice and cold. So I've been busting out all my minky pads because they're just super, super comfy when it's colder out. Um, and then this one here is a 12 inch from Heidi Hart's Handmade. It is a um, crushed velvet top, which is my one of my absolute favorite toppers. And uh, flan or fleece backed, excuse me. Um, and this one is only a moderate. I actually use this one on my last overnight day because um, it's not as absorbent as my other overnights, but it's got that extra length that I really like. So that was great. And then this one here is from Beach Bottom. Beach Bottom is one of my old reliables. Um, this was the first shop that I ever tried. And this one is 13 inches. It's a heavy absorbency for her. And um, it's a bit thicker because her, um, her cores are all flannel. So um, her pads tend to be a little bit more on the plush side once you get higher in absorbencies with her. Um, but love, 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 love this pad. Um, and then the last two overnights were ones that I made myself. Um, this one was actually the first pad I ever put together using flannel. Um, it has hidden PUL, which I don't use anymore in my sewing, so it's a little bit stiffer. Um, but I just hadn't worn this one in a while, and because it's one of the first pads that I ever sewed together, I thought it'd be fun to wear it. If you can see, my turn space here was a nightmare. Um, so it's kind of nice to kind of see where you've come from as far as your sewing goes. And then this one here is um, my craft beer over Overnight. It's cotton topped and it is uh, flannel backed or fleece backed. Sorry, my son's playing with his little um, remote control car in the backyard and he's trying to get into some trouble right now. I'll, I'll leave him alone for now. Um, so yeah, fleece backed, cotton topped, and um, this is a really, really comfortable pad. But it's really wide in the gusset. Um, it's uh, close to three inches in the gusset, but um, absolutely love this topper. It's really fun. So um, that are, uh, that are, that are, see this is why I don't talk. Um, so 
those are my overnights and um, now I want to go on to my heavies and normally I use more moderates than heavies during my cycle but uh, because my cycle was so long and um, I couldn't really use my cups I used a lot of my heavies so this is another minky top from mother moon pads and if you saw my last unboxing um, you saw all of my uh, Lord of the Rings pads now and I actually use both of my Lord of the Rings pads from her this cycle this is my minky top and it's got Bill bow and Gandalf and I absolutely love this pad this is probably my new favorite um, speaking of favorites I used my modern Wednesday uh, nine inch um, it is a cotton topped and uh, fleece backed I'm not showing the backers so much because I have like attracted all of the world's fluff onto all of the backs of my pads I don't know why so if I'm not showing you them for very long it's probably because there's fuzzy stuff on the back um, so this is my Alice pad I absolutely love, 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 love this pad. Um, Modern Wednesday is a really great shop if you haven't tried it before. Um, then I use this nine inch heavy from Cuddle Blossom Cloth covered in fuzz on the back. Um, it has this really, really gorgeous wine colored um, fleece as the backer. And then it's my very first peacock pad. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Um, then I used this 10.5 inch from Yurtcraft flannel topped and wind pro backed. And I absolutely love Yurtcraft, but this is the only pad that I have from her. Um, because all of the 10.5 inch pads tend to go really, really quick. And I found that this is the perfect size for me. So, um, I'm holding out for the perfect 10.5 inch. I just have to lurk on her shop a little bit better than I do right now. Um, here's my other Lord of the Rings pad from Mother Moon. Um, both of these were 10 inches, if I didn't say that before. Uh, this one is a, um, I think it's a knit, a knit topped, cotton knit. Um, and it has fleece as the backer. And my last heavy is from uh, Crafty Nook. And this is a flannel topped and fleece backed. This is one of my really comfy, really plush, plush, plush pads. It's probably the thickest pad that I have. Um, and it's really wide in the gusset. So it's great for the days when I'm just not feeling too good. Um, I really like, really like these pads. And the topper, I mean, Wonder Woman, come on. Um, okay, so I actually, wait, never mind. I have a lot more heavy pads. You know, I'm just not very organized today, but you guys can bear with me. Um, and my son officially got into trouble um, trying to pick apart the landscaping in the backyard. Um, all right, so more of my heavies. Um, so this one is my 11 inch Novel Red and it is crushed velvet topped and it is a Win Pro backer. And this is probably always going to be one of my top five favorite pads. I absolutely love this pad. Um, always have, always will. It's just, I mean, like look at it. I just can't. Um, then I use this one. It's a 10 inch by Eco Owl by Netta. Um, this has a flannel back and a flannel, I keep saying flannel, fleece backed and cotton topped. Um, this topper, I looked for a long time to find a shop that I wanted to order this topper from and I'm actually really happy with it. It's also another really plush pad. If you can see how thick that is compared to, let's see, stack my novel red on top. I mean, it's definitely a very plush pad, but um, I think that there is a space in everyone's uh, stash for a nice, soft, squishy pad. So I actually really like this one. I think it's really great. And the topper is just, I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, then I have my, um, I believe this is a 10 inch uh, wicking jersey pad from Phoenix Rising Reusables. I absolutely love this pad. Um, it has this knit uh, fabric on the wings and then it is an exposed core with the uh, wicking jersey and just in case you haven't seen it let's see if I can get this to focus here that's what the wicking jersey looks like and um, this is the best stay dry pad I have in my stash and I love it and then um, the real last heavy pad that I have is um, this one that I made myself. It's an asymmetrical 10 inch. Um, this one does have PUL. Um, this was, I think, the last pad that I ever sewed with, um, with PUL at this point. Um, I mean, not to say that I won't sew with PUL, but um, I like how floppy pads are without PUL, and I found that you don't really need it a lot of times. Um, but as a newbie with cloth, I, I sewed a lot with um, PUL just because I wasn't quite sure how absorbent pads would be. Um, but it is a cotton topped and fleece backed pad and it is absolutely gorgeous. And this pad is probably one of my favorites um, from my 
you know, the ones that I've made that I have in my stash, um, just because I love the I love the cherries. I think they're really pretty. Um, okay, so going on to my moderate pads, um, this one is that same pattern, that same asymmetrical 10 inch pattern. Um, this one is flannel topped and fleece backed. Um, here's another cuddle blossom cloth. Uh, this is about 10.5 inches and covered in fluff. Um, and it is a cotton topper with a uh, fleece backed and I absolutely love this guy. Look how cool he looks. Isn't that great? Um, I actually wanted this pad from her shop for the longest time and once I got it, I mean it looks even better in person. I just think this is just the coolest, the coolest topper. I think it's fabulous. Um, then I have another Heidi Hearts Handmade pad. This is another crushed velvet, this really gorgeous deep purple. Um, and it has a uh, fleece backer and um, this one is nine inches and it's her uh, bicycle pattern. Um, so really nice for front or even back um, bleeders and I need more coverage in the front. So this works out great for me. Then I have this pad from Hand Sewn by Me. It is an exposed core uh, nine inch pad with cotton as the topper and fleece as the backer. I really like this topper. I think this topper is really cute. I think it's great. Um, then I have this 11 inch Novel Red, another purple uh, crushed velvet pad. This one has more pink to it though. It's called Cheshire Cat um, and it has Winpro as the backer. And I really like the straight style from Novel Red. I think um, for my next order, because there will be another order, I'll probably order this style over the curve just because I think this fits me just perfect. Um, now I just have my liners left and normally I only use one or two liners over the course of a cycle but because my cycle kept tricking me and telling me that it was done and then it wasn't done um, I ended up using several um, I have this one it's my Paris pad uh, fleece backed and cotton topped and then I have my silver crushed velvet liner uh, crushed velvet topped and fleece backed and then, um, this is actually the first time that I used this one. I sewed this forever ago, but I'd never used it. And it's, again, fluff all over it. Um, it is a cotton topped and fleece backed. And I just, I absolutely love these, these butterflies. I think they're gorgeous. And the last one is another crushed velvet topped and fleece backed. And if you haven't noticed a pattern, um, in the pads that I make for myself, I always use this kind of squared off asymmetrical pattern because I've just found that it's what works best for me. Um, for I have a shop, um, Little Sisters Textiles is what it's called, um, and I actually don't make asymmetrical pads for my shop um, just because I found that it's the pattern that works best for me, but it's very different from a lot of the patterns that I see in most people's shops. So if you would be interested in um, seeing a couple listings um, or if you buy asymmetrical pads, whether you would buy one from me or not, um, doesn't really matter. But if you do purchase asymmetrical pads, could you let me know? Because I just don't know how how many people actually need them. Um, if it's something that's you know common or if I'm just kind of a weirdo in needing an asymmetrical pad, um, just let me know because if so, I, I might add them to my shop as well. Um, but that is it for my pads. Um, two cup spots, one cup and 25 pads. Um, my period was the most bizarre cycle I've ever had. I didn't cramp at all. I had very little bloating. It just wouldn't go away. That, that was the only complaint that I had for my cycle. Um, but it's over with now. I'm just in time for um, the holiday weekend, which was nice. I was worried that I'd have to carry around my wet bag. Um, my husband and I are going out on a date today um, to celebrate my birthday just since the holidays were coming and it was just hard to get a babysitter. So we're going out. We're going to go see a movie, have lunch, and um, just kind of enjoy some adult-only time, which is very valuable um, to us parents, uh, I think. Um, I have a nine-month-old daughter so it's it's not very often that we get a sitter for her so I'm excited it should be fun um, but in any case um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend um, I know that a lot of people here in the US at least are are gearing up for for the holidays now that Thanksgiving is finally over um, but I know this typically is a season of, of giving and of thanks for um, everyone so um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely try to make videos more consistently than I have been lately but I appreciate everything. Thank you guys so much. Please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!